for our final example, uh, we're looking at this function. Well, we notice that there's a cube term, so the original function is probably x cubed, and we have our constants here that will manipulate the graph. So we know what x cubed looks like already. So let's go ahead and draw our function at hand here. Here's x, here's y-axis. Well, the 2 will stretch out the graph vertically. And the 1 will shift to the left by 1. So if we mark those points, here's 1. We shift the x cubed graph over by 1, and we also stretch it by 2. So now, uh, originally, we have a graph that looks something like this. Well, we're going to stretch it by 2. So instead of crossing 1, 0, 1, it's going to cross 0, 2. So here we have those two points. And our rising cube function. So for graphing a function given uh, the original function, uh, we just follow these constant rules that we listed previously uh, on the first page of our lesson. And there's really no trick to it, and just keep practicing and you will get used to uh, manipulating graphs this way. And once again, it is very important to know your graphs, to know your basic functions, because the calculus exam will test your knowledge of topics built on those fundamental topics. So uh, once you know those, you'll be on your way to getting the score that you want. So thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.